Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's solve another problem today. Today, let's look at swap nodes in pairs. So we're given one linked list and we wanna swap every two adjacent nodes and then return the output. And they tell us we cannot modify the values. It would be really easy if we could just take the values and then swap them. But unfortunately, we are gonna have to do some pointer stuff. So we're gonna have to update the pointers instead. So this isn't too difficult, right? Like just go through every pair of nodes. So the first pair is one and two. We can just take this link and reverse it, right? And then we look at three and four, take the link and reverse it. But we also see that we have to do a little bit more than just that, right? Like this one has to be connected to this. And the three is now gonna be the end of the list. So it's going to be null. And we see that the output is basically in this order, right? Two is now our head. So we go two, one, four, three. So you might be able to tell the annoying part of this is gonna be pointer stuff. And there's gonna be a lot of edge cases that I'm gonna show you how to eliminate. Of course, we're gonna use a dummy pointer or rather a dummy node. We're gonna create a dummy node at the beginning and we're gonna do some other stuff that I'm gonna show you right now. So to help us out with the edge cases, let's create a dummy node, just give it value zero. And now we're here. So this is like our start point, right? We first wanna make sure that we at least have two nodes for us to reverse, right? Cause we're gonna reverse these two, then we're gonna reverse these two. And then we're gonna see that we have nothing left so we're done, right? But hypothetically, what if there was a five over here? Then we come here, right? There's not even two nodes. There's only one node here and nothing over here. So we don't reverse in this case, we can stop. So this is our previous node and this is our current node and we're gonna reverse them, right? So we can take this pointer and reverse it. We can also take this pointer and reverse it but where are we gonna reverse it to? Where are we going to set this pointer? Are we gonna set it to null? Are we gonna set it to the dummy node? Probably not the dummy node, right? Well, I'm actually gonna set this over here, right? Basically what we're doing is we saw that we two had a next pointer set to three, but we got rid of that. And what we're really trying to do is take this node and swap it with this node. So if we want to put this over here, we should set one's next pointer to three. So that's great. We've reversed these two nodes and we want to now shift to the next positions. And actually one more thing we want to do before we end up shifting our pointers is see that we swapped these two nodes our dummy is going to point to the head of our list initially it's pointing at one because one is the head but we replaced it with two remember so what we want to do is now set dummy.next equal to the second node and this is getting kind of messy so i'm actually going to redraw what we have up here so this is what we currently have, right? And now we wanna reverse these two nodes. Well, we know four is pointing at null, but we want it to point back at three. So we can reverse this pointer. But what about three dot next? We definitely wanna change this pointer, but what are we gonna set it to this time? Are we gonna set it to null? And the answer is yes, because we're replacing four and three, we're swapping them. We know four was pointing at null before. So now we want three to point at null. And the last thing we wanna do is take the pointer over here and instead set it to four. Because if we wanna replace these two, we know that one was initially pointing at three, but we're swapping the three with the four. So we want one to point at four now. And so I'm just gonna take this, redraw it over here. So we got a two, a one, four, and a three. A little bit messy, 
but we know that this is the output, right? Because we see it over here, two, one, four, three. So we have our result, we have our dummy pointer pointing to our head, which is two, and we were able to do this in big O of n time. So we are going to create another node, which is our dummy. The value is gonna be zero because we don't really care about the value. The next pointer is gonna be head. The second parameter is what we're setting to the next pointer. We're also gonna initialize some pointers, previous and current. Initially, previous is gonna be set to dummy and current is gonna be set to the first node in the list. And so now basically we're gonna start looping and reversing every pair of nodes. So we're gonna keep doing that until we reach the end of the list. So while current is not the end, but we're also gonna make sure current.next isn't the end because we wanna make sure we have at least two nodes to reverse, not just one node. So since we are making some changes to pointers, the first thing I'm gonna do is save a few pointers that we're gonna end up changing because we wanna have them stored in a temporary variable before we break any pointers. So I'm gonna save the next pair of nodes that we're gonna need to reverse and that can be found in current.next.next, right? So shifting by two from current, we can get the next pair, which who knows, it might be null, but at least we have it stored here. And we know that current is the first node in our pair, so I'm gonna get the second node by doing current.next. So now that we saved those pointers, now we can actually reverse this pair of nodes. So I'm gonna take the second node and set its next pointer equal to the first node, which is just cur. And since we're swapping the positions, we know that the first node is now gonna be in the second position, so the next pointer should be set to the next pair that we have, right? And we're taking the second node and putting it in the first position. We, to finalize that, what we can say is previous.next is equal to second. So that means the second node has actually been put in the first position. We've actually swapped the nodes now. And before we start the next iteration of the loop, we should update our pointers so that we can actually reverse the next pair of nodes. So previous is gonna be set to cur, and cur is gonna be set to the next pair of nodes. And once all of that is said and done, we can return dummy.next because we know that dummy.next is always going to be pointing at the first node in the list. And it was pretty annoying. We definitely had to draw a picture to understand what we're doing with all these pointers, but it works really well. We did it iteratively. We didn't really need a lot, of, a lot more memory. The memory is big O of one. The time is big O of n because we're just looping. We're doing a lot of pointer stuff, but we're only looping through the list one time. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot, and hopefully I'll see you pretty soon.